what she's wearing, Bex. <laughs> Everything that went wrong, went wrong. She gave the wave, but... Yeah, in the way. On the 25th of September 2018, the Duchess of Sussex arrives at the Royal Academy for the opening of a new exhibition, Oceania. During the tour of the Royal Academy, the Duchess viewed art from New Zealand, Fiji, the Kingdom of Tonga and Australia. Countries Her Royal Highness and the Duke will visit in October. The Duchess speaks to some of the artists, as well as descendants, linked to the works on display at the Royal Academy. The exhibition celebrates the diverse art of the region of Oceania, the first ever survey of oceanic art held in the UK. The Duchess of Sussex views a piece of artwork from Fiji, a hook dating back to the 1870s. Oceania brings together 200 works spanning 500 years, from public collections worldwide. Before departing the Royal Academy, the Duchess received a posy from Rima and Cote, whose father was involved in the exhibition. And in today's episode, we look at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's autumn tour. It was tweeted by Kensington Palace and is from royal.uk, which is the official website of the monarchy. So you cannot get more true and accurate than this, which is why I am just going to read it, as they say, straight from the horse's mouth. So this was published on the 10th of September 2018 and reads, As previously announced, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will undertake an official visit to Australia, Fiji, the Kingdom of Tonga and New Zealand. 
The visit will take place between Tuesday the 16th of October and Wednesday the 31st of October. Their Royal Highnesses have been invited to visit the Commonwealth realms of Australia and New Zealand by the country's respective governments. The Duke and Duchess will visit Fiji and Tonga at the request of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. The programme across these four Commonwealth countries will focus on youth leadership, environmental and conservation efforts, including the dedication of several new Queen's Commonwealth Canopy projects and the recovery and rehabilitation of servicemen and women through the Invictus Games Sydney 2018. Full details will be announced in due course, and of course, I will bring you those as soon as I hear anything. Now, we have an official tour outline, which is really interesting. So, on Tuesday the 16th of October, they will be in Sydney. On Wednesday the 17th in Dubbo, and I hope I've said that correctly. On Thursday the 18th in Melbourne, and then they will be in Sydney from the 19th until the 21st. Then, on Monday the 22nd, they visit Fraser Island. Then from the 23rd until the 25th, they will be in Fiji. On the 25th, they are in Nadi, Fiji, and Nuku Alofa, Tonga. Friday the 26th, Nuku Alofa, Tonga, and Sydney. Saturday the 27th, back to Sydney. Sunday the 28th until Monday the 29th, they are in Wellington, New Zealand. And on the 29th, they also visit Abel, Tasman. On Tuesday the 30th, they are in Auckland. On Wednesday the 31st, they are in Rotorua, New Zealand. And there we have the tour in full, all the true and accurate details that we know so far. Please let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the tour dates and all the information that we've learnt from this video. Oceania exhibition at the Royal Academy of Arts. Let's check it out. Now I'm standing in front of the very first exhibit of Oceania. It's called Kiko Moana, Blue Ocean. A piece that was woven by four women from, from New Zealand. And a wonderful way of showing the blueness of our part of the world, Oceania. I feel like I'm swimming in a sea of blue. Bula Vinaka, my name is Takeni Bula. Um, I'm from Fiji and right here behind me is one of the artefacts from our village and I just feel so proud for it to be on showcase in the heart of London and it really just makes you feel at home. If you were in a canoe, how would you protect yourself? With a crocodile shield, of course. What a great way to sail into the afterlife. A canoe full of humans, turtles and birds. Speaking of birds, this beam from the Tribal Chiefs Meeting House is pretty cool. Of course, I'm a big fan of hats. This headdress from Papua New Guinea is just fabulous. They say angels have wings, like the figurine behind me. These beautiful feathered images represent the Hawaiian god of war. This ornate feast trough is very, very long. I wonder what they put inside it. If you look behind me, it's a masterpiece uh, bark cloth from the island of Moala. My uh, grandfather is from Mother Island, which is a sister island to Moala, and they specialize in um, traditional Masi prints. And uh, bark cloth is used in traditional weddings as a backdrop to a, a chiefly wedding. It's very special because we use it as part of our traditional Fijian dance costume. This digital animation is a perfect way to end the exhibition. Check it out. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye.